Hi, and welcome to the presentation of Vital, a wavetable synth plugin made by Vital Audio. This is a very similar plugin to some other options in the market. The main difference is that you can get this plugin for free with the same quality as some of the other paid options in the market. With Vital, you can stretch, shift, smear, and skew harmonics up, down, and around the spectrum to explore new timbres and create sounds you didn't think possible with wavetables. As you can see, Vital is a very well distributed when it comes to the user interface aspect. All of the different sections have a well-crafted space where the user can easily differentiate the different sections. Adding to that, the way the plugin is animated makes it one of the most amazing plugins to look at when we think about the graphic aspect of it. As with other plugins, we have a menu where we can choose any preset we want. And we can go from there and change the sound how we want it. In the voice section of Vital, we have available three wavetable oscillators, one sampler, and two filters. Every one of these oscillators, or even the samplers or filters, can receive frequency or ring modulation from the other oscillators. In each oscillator, we have a level knob, a pan knob, a filter one, the unison, the phase, and finally the pitch. Each one of these oscillators can be turned on and off with this knob, starting with the pitch section. The pitch adjustment on the left will adjust the incoming MIDI note by the number of semitones. This is set to zero by default, so that the oscillator will play the incoming MIDI note as is. Below the pitch level and pan controls is a routing control. Each oscillator can be routed to either filter 1, filter 2, filter 1 and 2, to the effects channel or direct out. In the middle of each oscillator we have the wavetable view. We can view this wavetable view in 2D or even 3D. We have also the option to see the spectral form and this shows the harmonics of the wavetable. If we click on this pencil in the wavetable view we can edit our waveform. In the unison and phase section, we can apply more voices to the sound. And how much we want to detune the signal. And in this right side is the phase. We can adjust the phase up to 360 degrees or as low as 0 degrees. We can also apply phase randomization. When turned on, the sampler will light up and when off, the sampler will be dim and grey. Here we have the pitch shift settings and the sample tuning of the pitch. We also have these five routing options again. And we have the sample view, where it contains the sample that we chose. We can also adjust the level, the pan of the sample, if we want the sample to loop. If you want the key track on, you can also enable it the random phase, on or off, 
or even the sample bounds. When it comes to filters, each filter can be turned on and off using the activator. In this filter view, we have a visual of the filter's frequency response curve, where we can adjust it. We can use these knobs to assign the signal to an oscillator, or even the filter section or the sampler. The mix knob allows us to deliver 100% of the signal or zero. In the modulation section, we have three envelopes and four LFOs. The envelopes allow us to tame the sound however we like it. We have the delay attack, hold and decay, and the sustain and release, and we can adjust each of these knobs to provide us with the perfect amount of each of these options that we want to provide to our sound. Here's an example. We can then assign another envelope to another sampler or even to a filter. In the LFO section, there's eight important components. The LFO modulation squares, the LFO shape chooser, the LFO shape visuals that we can adjust however we like, the brush tool, the grid options, the LFO face slider, the LFO mode chooser, and finally the frequency settings. We have finally the last modulation tools. Here we have the random modulation tool where we can select it, turn it on and apply it to our signal. On the bottom right of the LFO menu is a 4x2 grid of additional modulation sources. We can adjust the note, velocity, lift, octave note pressure, slide, stereo, and random. On the left side of the plugin are situated the macros. These tools can be used to control multiple parameters at once. Vital comes equipped with four macros on the left side, and each macro has a macro knob and associated with modulation square beneath it. The only difference between macros and other modulation sources is that the macro knob needs to be turned to modulate the associated parameters. Down here, we have the keyboard section, where we can click it in and produce sound. Or we can use a MIDI keyboard or even our own keyboard from the computer. In the matrix section, we have a menu that shows a list of all active parameter modulations and the modulation remap curve for the select modulation. Below the modulation list, we have the option to modulate and remap this curve. This curve is assigned to the selected parameter that we'll select. And we also have the presets to change that form. In the effects panel, Vital provides us with nine different effects. These are some of the most common effects used in sound design and can be used to create very complex and rich sounds. Again, we can activate any of these effects by clicking on the activator knob. Finally, at the top bottom of the right hand panel are some of the global settings for Vital. Here we have the voices, the bend knob, the velocity track, the spread, the glide, the slope and three different options, which are always glide, 
octave scale or legato. In the advanced settings panel, we have six main components, which are the note tracking options, the high resolution wavetable option, the oscillator unison stack options, which is here, the oscillator unison detune range, the oscillator unison dry and wet knobs, and finally the oscillator unison spread knobs. Below, we have the vital advanced global settings, where we can see the oscilloscope, the frequency spectrum analyzer, the global oversampling, which is here, we can select these four options, the frequency units option, where we can set for hertz or semitones, and finally the global voice settings, which we can tune and select the best option for our sound design. And this is the end of the presentation of Vital. Hope you enjoyed this presentation and have fun creating.